Hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. I'm Colin Weaver. Every day, not one, but two questions to help you as you continue your studies. Let's go right to it. Question number one today, which of these brief definitions is the best one for circumstantial evidence? Click pause, give those a read, and when you're ready, click play so we can talk it through. Okay, first choice on the list says that it is a reproduction of original evidence offered as proof. No, that definition is more appropriately aligned with the idea of secondary evidence. The next choice on the list says that it is evidence offered by somebody who saw an event take place. No, also not circumstantial. That's more akin to the notion of direct evidence. The next item on the list says that it's an original object offered as proof of a fact. Uh, no, that is typically the uh, definition of what we would call best evidence. The next item on the list is evidence offered by someone who learned it from someone else. Uh, no, that would typically be called hearsay. So uh, that's not what we're looking for. That only leaves one choice left, so I think we know what's going to happen. And the final item on the list is information that relies on inference in order to establish a fact. Uh, this is sort of a uh, an internet textbook definition of what circumstantial evidence is, and that's the correct answer to this particular question. My message to you is, is from an exam perspective, make sure that you understand what these different evidence types are, and also spend a few minutes on the internet going in and looking, particularly you can use the links that are down below, uh, for examples of types of evidence that fit these particular definitions. So again, most of us who are taking this exam are not attorneys, and we're not going to be able to argue all the intricacies and exceptions to these varying circumstances, we need to know the general nature of what these things are because it's going to help us be better in terms of the overall approach to how we do security in our networks. Here comes question number two. Maximum tolerable downtime is a critical component of which of these? Go ahead and click pause and then click play after you've got the right answer and then we'll talk each one through. First answer is actually the right answer. A business impact analysis, a BIA. A business impact analysis is broken into three broad steps. Step number one of a business impact analysis is for you to go in and determine what your critical processes are and then figure out what uh, how critical they are in terms of their recovery. Uh, this is where maximum to tolerable downtime uh, questions are going to be asked and subsequently answered. In step two, you go in and you identify resource requirements. And in step three, you go in and identify recovery priorities for the resources in your organization. Choice number two is risk assessment. Uh, no. Uh, maximum tolerable downtime is not directly associated with risk assessment. Again, it is, from a best answer perspective, more uh, likely to be associated with uh, doing a business impact analysis. So we already know the right answer, but I just want to go and talk through each one of these. And then the last two options, recovery time objectives and recovery point objectives, um, RTOs and RPOs, uh, those are both actually things that are discussed in the same vein as maximum tolerable downtime. So they are part of a business impact analysis. Um, and so they're, they're going to be right there with MTD, RPO, and RTO. So... Uh, there's a really cool link down below to a, a, a special publication from NIST. Uh, I think it's page seven. If you look down in the comments, that um, you can go and read about each one of these. Make sure you feel good about those different topics um, and also know the steps of a business impact analysis because it's going to be important come exam time. Okay, just like that, two more questions down. Hope you dug them. Uh, if you did, make sure you click on like. Click like. Right, right now, click it. There you go. Good job. All right. And also subscribe because I do these questions every single day, help you keep pre uh, prep for your exam. And next time you see me, it'll be tomorrow.